Welcome to CAU TV Newsbreak. I'm Markeisha Steele. Reverend Al Sharpton appeared in a Manhattan court for the Sean Bell demonstration. Sharpton, along with Sean Bell's fiance, Nicole Paltry, appeared in a Manhattan court on charges stemming from the civil disobedience arrest. Al Sharpton says future civil disobedience demonstrations are on hold until a special legislative session is held in Albany, Georgia. Sharpton hopes that sessions in Albany will spark permanent changes in the wake of the tragic Sean Bell shooting, which occurred in November of 2006. Georgia State University features a new art exhibit. Sabrina Birdsong has the story. The Georgia State University Welch School of Art and Design is featuring the Intersections of Nature and Industry Art Exhibition. I spoke with the gallery director, Kathy Bird, to find out how the exhibition was put together. It's our third faculty summer project, so a faculty member proposed this idea and put the exhibition together. So it in this gallery uh, is work by professional, more experienced artists, and in the small gallery is art by current or recent uh, students in our school. I also spoke with a Georgia State art student to get her feedback on the exhibition. I really like the galleries because we get to interact with each other and see what kind of ideas everyone has. And if we don't talk about them and see everyone's work, we don't really know what everyone else is doing. So it's a good way to connect us all as students and um, be able to see what kind of crazy ideas we make up. I'm Sabrina Birdsong, Newsbreak 23. Those in the economy have led to layoffs at Atlanta-based Post Properties. CEO David Stocker says the real estate market has had to lay off several employees because of the weak economy. The first quarter earnings for the Post Properties developers was $770,000, which is below the near $23 million mark earned in the first quarter of 2007. Stockard explained that several mid-level managers and administrative associates were released because of the weak economy. Changes have come to Grady Hospital. More details are to come when we return. Big dreams and good grades aren't enough to get into college. There are actual steps you need to take. Finding someone who can help is the first and most important. For the next steps, go to knowhowtogo.org. Grady Hospital is continuing in the search for a new CEO. This search has narrowed down to four candidates. Gregory Burfitt, James Burkhart, Michael Butler, and Michael Young are the candidates vying for the chief executive officer position. The new CEO is expected to help bring the hospital out of its terrible position. Over the years, Grady has fallen into millions of dollars worth of debt, causing the hospital to possibly face foreclosure. Grady officials say the new CEO will be selected in a few weeks and will begin this coming September. Oil prices have dropped again. The price of oil has dropped more than $5. The decrease followed profit taking from amid signals from Iran that it will be more flexible in negotiations about its nuclear programs. The $5.17 drop has left oil price at $136.26 a barrel after the black gold hit a record high last week. Prices have also stabilized because Hurricane Bertha did not damage Gulf of Mexico offshore oil rigs. Thanks for tuning in to CAU TV Newsbreak. Call in your comments and news suggestions to 404-880-8909. Join us weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm Markeisha Steele. Newsbreak is produced by students in the Mass Media Arts Department of Clark Atlanta University.